this is cuckoo spit. It's nothing to do with the birds. So it's nothing to do with the cuckoo bird. And it's not spit, which is uh, nice to know because it's all over my plants. There's actually a little insect right in the middle of that. You can see it's almost a bit yellow. I accidentally caught some on my hand. The bubbles are harmless. They're made up of sap mainly and it's got a very bitter taste. It keeps the little creature damp and also keeps it safe from things that want to eat it. Look, oh, it's a little baby one. They really are quite sweet. Here we go. Look, you can see its eye. <laughs> they're a bit like, they're not really like grasshoppers, but they're very jumpy in the same way. They're called frog hoppers. Nothing to do with frogs, but um, yeah, I think it's because they hop around a lot. Now, I don't know how bitter this tastes because um, I've decided I'm not going to taste it, sorry. But apparently it does taste very bitter. Ah, oh, it's just hiding itself away. I don't know if it's a he or a she or how these en insects sort that out. Now this is what it's keeping itself safe from. Great big horrible spiders like that. That was at work, this is at home. This is on the lavender. Now, lavender, you tend to get quite a lot of these on lavender. But I think you can have it on almost any plant. I've seen cuckoo spit on grass and a few other things. So I, I don't know if you can get it on everything. Maybe it depends on if they can chew their way through and get at the sap. 